all right guys good morning and welcome back all right so in today's video i want to show us how to make our outfit now i have already thought i have already designed i have already prepared now i want to briefly explain to us how these things we are done now um this is the front block of the outfit now the white strand i have here measurement is 2.5 inches now when cutting i used four inches to cut it was folded in this form at the end of the day i had 2.5 inches left now after the weeks folding and then the length as well is a length of 19. now be in mind this is dependent on your customer's measurement and size so I, so I have it to be for a plus size customer which has a chest of 47. so this is why i use this measurement if you have a lesser or smaller measurement you can reduce the width and as well the length in the case of kids you can reduce the length the length to 15 14 thereabout then for we it can be two inches thereabout. Then after that, now I cut a black strand. Now this black strand was cut at two inches. Two inches black strand. It was folded at the end of the day. I had 0 0.75 left. Now hemming gum was attached in each of these. Right? Hemming gum was attached in each of these. Now bear in mind that the foldings of this white had hemming gum at the edge of the folding before I used hemming gum to attach this to the men ash cement outfit now this black strand as well was also hemmed as you can see i, I hemmed it here and then i used car and light up to burn the edges of the mark coming out now this is just done you have to take your time in doing this then after this now the next thing i did was i made sure that the black folding was folded in the same width with this buckle right it must it must be in the same width with the buckle so that the buckle can stay firmly right then you pass the black strand on the buckle and then i use hemming gum to hold it temporarily so that it should be easier for me to stitch on the body of the outfit before i proceed to my other sewing and then this design as well is going to have or is having um a a, a um, black fanciful material as pockets now it's optional you can decide not to put this but then I think I, I am the one that chose to use this. So I use color gum to draft the ex exact size of this pocket Why I folded the sequence material on both ends and as well folded at the up area as well. So you must have color gum to, for you to be able to use this effectively. It gives you that perfect realization and finishing as well. So that is how this was cut. Now what you will do now is to stitch the white with the white thread all through this way and then stitch the black as well all through then you buy in mind that you'll not be able to stitch where the buckle is so you will now stitch from here stop half inch or one inch before there and then end it there stitch from here as well stop here and then jump the buckle start one inch or half inch away stitch all through stitch all through stitch the both ends of the white strand as well and then for your pocket place your pocket in this form then you have to measure out from the shoulder point 7.5 inches down to fix your pocket or you push out two inches you have it to be 9.5 so it's either you measure from the shoulder point seven and a half inch down you place your pocket this way and then the pocket will be one inch away from the end of the flap of your white strand one inch away and then you place your pocket in this form and then you stitch the pocket as you have seen where to stitch from right then this is how this one will be done now for the other components as well then we have your um, back facing coming out in this form now the back facing was done at the right side that the front of the back facing the back um, block was gone this way then I, I am bringing in a black fabric as well to lay inside the neck as a design I will lay it at the center of this back now uh, the length of this will be six inches seven inches from the neck depth to the end of the black you can still decide to make it a full um facing but i think this one is better because of the style in question so my label will be placed at this point three inches away from the depth of this now bear in mind that this is longer than six inches now the reason i did it this way is for me to be able to trim off the neck excesses at the back or at the black strand so i have it to be seven and I will stitch here all through now and then to cut off the excesses that extended on the neck. And then I will now fix my label three inches down from the neck depth down this way 
my lab will be here then after this now the next you will do now will be um before the for the sleeve now the sleeve was caught in a okay before the sleeve let's go to the back facing the back facing was caught in this form and then i gummed the neck region this way and then i folded at the at the downside i use hemming gum to hem right it gives you a nice finishing after you must have sewn your outfit right so that's for the back facing then for the sleeve now the sleeve measurement i have is sleeve length of nine and a half there about then i make sure i had a three inches um, um thumb up effect now i use 3.5 to cut this then i now cut the lesser sleeve version of um, seven so by the time i i joined this i added half inch to this as well half inch to this as well so by the time i join this will come back to three and this come back to seven and it becomes nine inches right so there about yeah nine because i will join with this one as well nine and a half right so that's for the sleeve then this turn up was cut in this form and the hemming gum was laid all through the sizes now hemming gum is one inch so you have to lay one two three hemming gums or that about the last tip i used double that's four so i hemmed it and gummed then you can still decide to use material gum to do this but the material gum changes the, the total texture of the fabric so that is the reason i use hemming gum to cut this and then i gum in this form that is for the sleeve turn up right then for the that's all we have then for the bias the bias as well is um it was cut then we are going to use the bias to to seal the neck now this is 2.5 inches this way so we are going to use the bias to seal the neck as well put invisible zip at the shoulder so most of us who must have been watching my videos on um cuttings and sewings we have a greater understanding of this now don't still forget that i have an online training on telegram classes which you can still subscribe to pay and send me a dm on my number which i will drop my number in the description box of this video so for some of us that are yet to understand how to cut any of these components can simply enroll in my telegram pet classes or can still go through my youtube free videos for you to see how these things we are cut now i just had to explain this video to us for us to understand don't forget to follow me on my social media handles at instagram mr underscore defined follow me on facebook as well at ajoko j justice and then follow my page with the sign clothing on facebook my facebook group fashion priest so make sure you follow me on all my handles for you to be aware or see my postings on fashion related um solutions right so thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video